Matt here with Bobcat Bonsai and today I, uh, I'm going up to my first ever bonsai meeting with the bonsai association I'm with and today's meeting we're going over grafting on pines so that'll be cool to actually see something done in person rather than just watching it on videos. The videos are cool but it'll be cool to see it done in person as well so I'm looking forward to it and after Jason's video about getting through all the nerves and everything and just getting out there and doing it I was like I've got to give it a try so I'm off to go give it a try let's get to it hey all so I'm back from my trip up to the bonsai club meeting and it was awesome I actually really enjoyed it uh, so I got there early because for some reason I feel less stressed out when I show up to places early so I got there I think it was almost an hour early I was there like 45 minutes early and I was just talking to the guy who's going to be presenting I didn't really do any video footage of what was going on in there um, I took some pictures because well there was a lot to learn so there was a lot of pictures that I had to take so that I could keep up with it and the grafting class was awesome um, I'll share some of the pictures with you guys as well through this video. So what he was doing here was he had a Scots pond that ended up getting scale and a lot of it died back. So he lost a lot of foliage on the tree and how long it would have taken him to back bud and to graft the Scots pine foliage all back onto it would have taken forever so he actually has a separate tree which is a uh, Japanese black pine and that was field grown and he has it in a pot now which you'll see in this picture as well and he chose to use the Japanese black pine and he's been grafting that onto his Scots pine and it it's awesome it's absolutely awesome his whole process of it was great and he was explaining how if you look at the foliage on the two trees in the pictures, I don't know, I may just leave the two pictures up for a while and just have my face in the background kind of like drifted away somewhere. Who knows? Maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe not. But so if you look at the two pictures, the Scots pine that has some of the black pine grafted onto it already, he keeps that in his greenhouse. So he wanted to wake that up a little bit early. And then the black pine he left outside over winter. So that's not awake all the way yet. That's weird, it's actually starting to sleet here right now. So, Candace, if you're watching this, remember, don't be too jealous because I may be in a t-shirt, but if it is 40 degrees outside, I'm probably gonna be in a t-shirt. I get hot very, very easily. Um, oh, shoot. Yes, so, the color of the foliage for the black pine and then the Scots pine that has some of the black pine graphs to it already is different because the black pine's not awake yet. So one of the questions during the class was, well, don't you worry about the colors being different? And he said, no, I don't worry about that because it's the exact same tree. It's just one's been growing inside and one's been growing outside. So that was a cool, that was cool for him to explain as well. And I mean, overall it was, it was an awesome experience. I had such a great time and even after I went inside, yeah, my nerves were still up for a little while. And I just kind of like stood back. And then by the end of it, which was about three hours, I finally started getting comfortable around the people. And I was like, okay, well, now I'll talk to some people a little bit because it's been a little while. So I did. I got to meet a few people. Found out that quite a few of them lived down by me. Um, which I guess I should have told you that our bonsai club is about an hour and 20 minutes away from me. That's how far I have to drive to go up to meetings and stuff like that. So, it was well worth it. I enjoyed it. Um, the grafting presentation was absolutely amazing. And look for a grafting video coming up in the future. Maybe not like the near near future, but in the future, maybe around the April time frame would be a good time frame for it. Alright, so, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy my content, subscribe to my channel. And if you really, really enjoy my content, please hit the bell notification so you get notified every time I release a new video. Thank you.